Hi, I'm Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Rhino Rack Stow It Rooftop Axe and Shovel Carrier. We'll go ahead and pull it out of the box, install it onto a bar, and show you some of the features of this unique carrier. Okay, so this is the Stow It. Open up the top, and we've got a little poly bag with hardware. We've got the instruction sheet, pull open that section here, and then we have the actual two clamps. Okay, so for starters, these clamps, the outer body is die cast aluminum with a tough powder coat finish. You have the release, spring loaded release, multi-position clamping. It has rubber lined inner sections to provide grip. And there's also two points of fastening when you attach it to your load bars or to a Pioneer platform. Here in the poly bag we've got two different lengths of the hex bolts. So here we have for Pioneer platform and for Vortex load bar length. And then this is for the HD bar length. And you've got the washers. And then you have the track plates here. Also, you'll notice you have the pre-installed master lock core and you get two keys with those. They also have a new design which allows for easy replacement of this master lock core. If you have the key, you insert the key and insert the tool to the underside and push and then that will allow for you to pull out to pull out that housing. Let me go ahead and just give it a, there it comes. Okay, so, and then that allows you to take these out and match them up with other Rhino Rack lock cores that you may have. To, re to reinstall, you have the wafer across the very first tab there. You align that with the ramp on the inside and with the key installed, push, and then that reinstalls that back into place. Okay, next let's go ahead and attach this to a bar. Okay, here we have the Rhino Rack Vortex load bar. We'll just take off the end cap, pull off some of the VGS strip. Let's go ahead and take one of these. I'll take the fastener and put it down through this first position hole. You'll notice there are two different positions. This position is for small diameter items. For example, fishing rods you could use this position for. Um, and for, for items with a larger diameter, over 10 millimeters, you switch to that angle. Now we can go ahead and just spin on the bottom plate here. And then that will allow us to just slide that in to our the channel on the vortex bar. Go ahead and tighten that up. Okay. Now with that tight, I'm going to put our end cap back on. And you've got yourself your installed stow it. Let's go ahead and see how that grips to an axe and then a shovel. Okay, so we have a, an axe here and we have our stow it. So I can go ahead and just drop that down into place and press down and that gives a good secure grip. Now this is a heavy axe, however, these stow it's are rated up to 18 pounds between the two stowets across the two load bars. 
Let's try a shovel next. Okay, same concept. Just drop it down and push into place. And then if you have your key, you can go ahead and lock that. When with that locked, that prevents release of the closure. Okay, well that's a quick look at the Rhinorack Stowit Rooftop Axe and Shovel Carrier. This product and many other Rhinorack products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. If you have any questions or comments on this particular product, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack-related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one and thanks for watching.